So this is Monterey. Mm -hmm. And what you can see here that you couldn't see before is a lot more detail in terms of the underwater geography. And uh, we get down, and you can start to see now the ocean surface. And if we tilt the camera, and uh, what we're doing with ocean for the first time is letting users now drop down and see what's underneath. So this is really the geography there just off the coast of Monterey. And you can see that it's really a vast and extensive canyon. So are we underwater right now? So you're now underwater and we're looking, we can look back up towards the surface and down towards the bottom. Now there's much more visibility than you would really have underwater. In reality you would only be able to see for maybe a few tens of feet or a few hundred feet if you had great lights. But um, we didn't think that would be very interesting to let people dive underwater but not see anything. So we've stretched physics a little bit and you know, greatly extended the visibility uh, to let people you know, just see and appreciate what's down there. And so as we're kind of flying through, you'll see these uh, little dots come into view from time to time. So um, there are lots of these now scattered all around the world's ocean. Uh, providing photos and descriptions of the things that live in different in different places. We've had you know lots of information from Google and from users and from National Geographic on the land part of the planet for a long time, but we had to work with our partners uh, to collect and kind of seed the oceans with this kind of information um, now for this launch, and we. Uh, expect now user to, users to start contributing more and more in terms of photos and videos and and other scientists as they uh, use the product and begin to uh, publish information they want to share with the public through it.